Suppose hospital A admitted 21 less COVID infected patients. I remember looking at this question, it should be 21 fewer, not less COVID infected patient patients than hospital B. So hospital A, B, number of patients. This is X, this is X plus 21. The sum of recovery days for patients in hospitals A and B were 200 and 152 respectively. A number of days, sum of all, this was 200, this was 152. Nice. If the average recovery days for patient in hospital A was 3 more than, so the average 200 by X and 152 by x plus 21. This was 3 more than this. Average recovery days for patients admitted in hospital A was 3 more than the average in hospital B. Or 200 by x was 152 by x plus 21 plus 3. We spent an inordinate amount of time trying to crack this by finding factors for 200, factors of 150 to seeing where they would fit. 152 is a very interesting number. It is 76 into 2, 38 into 4, 19 into 8. So all I thought was, somehow I have to have a multiple of 19. There are only 5, 6 multiples of 19 that's work in this territory. That is x plus 21. Find this, it will work. It didn't work. It drove me mad. I don't want to do this the more proper way. 200 by x minus 152 by x plus 21 equals 3. So we'll take a uh, 200 x plus 21 into 200 minus 152 x. I'm just cross multiplying equals 3 x into x plus 21. This is 48 x 21 into 200 plus 48 x equals 3 x into x plus 21. You can cancel a 3. This becomes 7. This becomes 16. 7 into 200 plus 16x equals x square plus 21x. So x square plus 5x minus 7 into 200 equal to 0. 7 into 200, I can write it as 14 into 100, 28 into 50, 56 into 25. Take 1, 5, put it here. Take the 7, put it there. 40 into 35. And then different combinations like that. The difference should be 5. If I factorize this, 40 into 35 works well. So x minus 40 into x plus 35. Sorry, x plus 40. into x minus 35 equal to 0. x could be minus 40 or plus 35. It cannot be minus 40, it is plus 35. It took me a while to factorize this. It took me a while to factorize this because 7 into 200, I kept breaking it. I always kept both 5's this side. The two 5's sitting in the product. Put one 5 here, one 5 there. That's when the difference can be 5. I should have figured it out. I didn't. Put one five this side, one five that side, it becomes easy to factorize. So x is 35. If you look at this, the number of days here, 200 by 35. And 152 by 56. Right? So 200 by 35 is 40 by 7. 152 by 56 is 19 by 7. Subtract this. This is 27 by 3. Three, which is wonderful. This is not an integer. This is not an integer. The difference is an integer. That's why all my cute methods of trying to find factors where I lost minutes uh, completely came back to bite me. So guessing from the answer, going from the choices, trying to factorize it, thinking about integers, just doing natural numbers, just doing a plug and play. Not only did it not work, it, 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 it wound me up, lost me time and stressed me out for the, the rest of the paper.